One of the other important probability distribution in statistical inference is the t-distribution. In this module, we will learn about it. This distribution was introduced by William Gossett, who wrote it under his pseudonym as student. Gossett was an Oxford graduate in mathematics and worked for the Guinness Brewery in Dublin. He developed the t-distribution while working on small-scale materials and temperature experiments. Since he was not allowed to use his name in any publication, that's why he used the name student. And since then, this distribution is known as student's t-distribution. The t-distribution is a family of similar probability distributions. A specific t-distribution depends on parameter known as the degree of freedom. Degrees of freedom refer to the number of independent pieces of information that go into the computation of the standard deviation, S. A t-distribution with more degrees of freedom has less dispersion. As the degrees of freedom increases, the difference between the t-distribution and the standard normal probability distribution become smaller and smaller. The t-distribution has certain properties. The very first property says that it has a mean of zero. It is symmetrical about the mean. In general, it has a variance greater than one, but the variance approaches one as the sample size becomes large. For degrees of freedom greater than two, the variance of the t-distribution is degree of freedom divided by degree of freedom minus two. Alternatively, since here degree of freedom is n minus one, for n greater than three, we may write the variance of the t-distribution as n minus one divided by n minus three. The fourth property says that the variable t ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity, and the t-distribution is, is really a family of distributions since there is a different distribution for each sample value of n minus one, which is the divisor used in computing s square, which is variance. We recall the n minus one is referred to as degrees of freedom for t-distribution. Compared to the normal distribution, the t-distribution is less peaked in the center and has thicker tails. Figure compares the t-distribution with normal distribution. Moreover, the t-distribution approaches the normal distribution as n minus one approaches infinity. We can further look at it that here, the purple peak is represented by standard normal distribution and the rest of the two are the t-distribution. For t distribution with 10 degrees of freedom, we could see there are heavy tails and lesser peak. But as the sample size increase, degree of freedom increase from 10 to 20, the peak goes up and the tails are lesser, less heavier than at degrees of freedom of 10. And as the degree of freedom will keep increasing, it will approximately reach up to the standard normal distribution. For more than 100 degree of freedom, the standard normal z value provides a good approximation to the t value. And that's what we have learned in our Microsoft Excel demo. The standard normal z values can be found in the infinite degrees. Most of the time in the table, it's the infinity row. If we look at this table for the t distribution, where we get the area in the upper tail at 0 0.05 significance level, and at degree of freedom to be 100, it is 1.645. And similarly, at 10% alpha level and infinity, it is 1.282, which is the standard normal Z values. T distribution is widely used in the statistical inference. It helps provide exact statistical inference to the average values, even if the sample is small.